I like vintage stuff, circuses, uh, comic books, sci-fi movies. Have a kind of a newfound fascination with rundown theme parks. So incorporate all of those bits all together and you kind of get a feel as to what it is that I like to do. There is one piece down here with the turquoise and then the black is inspired by the bottle and the brand itself. The movement of opening the swing top bottle, like if you were to zoom in with a high def camera, you'd see a lot of splashes and splatters going on. I found online a couple of old newspaper ads that were uh, printed by Grosch as far back as 1965. And I pasted them on really old vintage maps, which were created by an artist, drew maps of towns and, and villages in the Netherlands, who did this uh, as a commission for Grosch. Then the old classic Piet Mondrian are actually collaborations that I did today with, uh, with an artist from uh, South Africa, which is a lot of fun. So he drew a map of Amsterdam in these bottles. In, in these little bits, had a lot of artists and friends kind of participating here in the event, tagged their names, like it's a piece of graph or a street art wall, if you will. Incorporate it all together, it becomes a really kind of modern art piece with a tribute to an old Dutch classic. Everything's art. I can walk outside, be inspired by a wall, a piece of paper, by a visual somewhere, a newfound comic book store that you've never been to, visit a new uh, art show, go to galleries. What would life be without art? <laughs>